Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 18 of the service portal training. In this class, I'll talk about that Angular template. So today our focus all about that Angular template. Uh, so what is the Angular template and how we can use the Angular template in our service portal. To support this functionality, uh, to show you the demonstration of the Angular template, I need to uh, make little bit modification of this broadcast um, page. So I'll do that in quickly. So if you can see that right now it is uh, rendering the incident uh, so what i need actually i need to show the different type of task like incident problem change for that what i did i opened this table called task table and inside that i have put the filter call opened by the system administrator and task type you have to change request or or incident so right now if i uh, group by with the task you can see that uh, it have the change request and then along with the incident so these two uh, this kind of information i just need to be rendered in my broadcast widget so that i can show you that why we need the angular template to do that i'll quickly go to this uh, widget editor and then uh, make the changes so simply i'll copy this query here and then here in this widget editor i'll just change that in instead of incident table i'll just change the task and then uh, here in the filter what i'll do i'll put this uh, filter condition similarly i'll go to the client script and then uh, change that to uh, task and put this filter okay so i'll put okay and let's save that once we save that, let's refresh our page and see what is happening here. So right now you can see once we save that, uh, we are rendering the incident and change. Uh, let's see the filter is working or not. And filter also is working. You can see that uh, this filter is working. Now what we'll do, um, so what I want to do that uh, right now, this incident and change both are the different table right so if i open this incident this is the incident table and then if i open i mean this is the incident data and then if i open the change record it's, it it is a change request right so their structure and then their uh, audience are different there might be the field is different what we want here in our page here that if I open that incident table, the look and feel will be a little bit different. And if we open the change, the look and feel will be different. So that how we can achieve that. We can achieve through the Angular template. I'll show you that, that how we can achieve that in our today's class. So without wasting time, let's get started. So now what we are going to do so let's say that i am opening that particular incident and here i want to show the incident details right so what i'll do i'll click control and then edit that and then for demonstration purpose i asked uh, uh, i have added the simple code here so i'll just and uh, comment it out so i'll just uncomment this line so basically i have two uh um two panel basically if i save that these two panel i'll show you that how it will be looks like that so these two panel will be visible here now this is the uh, primary class and this is the success class these two panel are available now um, what i'll do that for incident i want to show these details in this panel and then for change i want to show in this panel basically their look and as their table is different their uh, field will be different and their uh, view might be different right so what i want actually for incident i want to show in this primary class and then for a change i want to use the success class so i'll put here call it say that um in heading i'll put that um incident details okay and here i'll put that incident number for the timing maybe so i'll put this incident number here okay and then uh, for change what i'll do i'll put that called change details and here i can put the change number okay and i'll remove all this unnecessary stuff for the time so let's refresh one more time and see that what is happening so as i mentioned that for the tough um, 
this one I want to use the for incident uh, So this one I as I mentioned that this one I am going to use for incident detail and this one I am going to use for the change details okay there might be the design wise there might be very different uh, very much different from this incident and this change okay now I need to restrict that if the table equal to incident I need to show this one and if the table equal to this one I need to show this one right so this will be the two different different um, design for that what we can do here we can just type that ng if and then uh, here I can define that data dot table equal to equal to incident show this one and then similarly I just I can copy that and paste that here uh, call change underscore request so um, using that data dot table or using that data dot uh, definite or uh, data dot table name you know, where it is rendering the table name based on that i'm defining that which um which design has to be visible right which design has to be shown now let's refresh that now it will show that only one box now i can see that only incident details are visible now if we go back to a broadcast and then um if i open the change request you can see the change details or change design are showing so let's say that their design wise the different but how we are restricting them through the ng if that uh, if the ng if equal to incident this design should be shown if it is that um, ng if call table equal to change request this design has to be shown this design um, we are restricting based on that our uh, what we call um, that uh, template or what um, based on that um, our table name similar functionality instead of this all these stuff here in the widget we can do through the template we can create the different different template and based on that we can use the template let's see that how we can design that so what we have to do we can copy this template so let's say this is the one template called incident template so what we have can do we can open this widget into the platform view under this platform under this related list you can be able to see that angular ng template you can just click new and then here you can define the template the template will be directly one-to-one -one mapping with the widget so let's say that i'm putting that incident dot html this is might be template and here i'm putting that whole port for the incident i'll just remove that ng part here okay so i'll remove that so this is might be my incident template uh, that i have created and similarly i am going to create one more template called change template where i'll paste that so now if you can see that under this form custom we have right now one template called incident template i am going to open uh, or create one more template called uh, change template so i'll say that change dot html and here i'm going to put that change template so i'll copy this whole change port here and paste here okay and then submit that so right now in this widget i have two uh, two template one is that um change template another is the incident template these two template are available and uh, you can see that uh, i need to remove this um, condition so i'll remove that condition okay so i just remove that so now if you see that this is my widget and under this widget we do have two template attached right now one is the for change another for incident now this template is attached and what i'll do i'll go back to this uh, uh actual widget and then remove that so now what will be happen my template is attached but uh, i have to be call the template on different different situation right so certain situation i should call the template and then i should show the template so basically right now if you see that the template is nothing but like a function i should call that template based on the certain situation for that what i'll do i'll create div and then under this div what i'll do that ng if so i'll put the same condition ng if and now what i'll define that if the data dot table equal to equal to incident then i should call that template so i need to be defined or i need to call the template now question is how can we call the template so to call the template we have a various method so we have a three method one is that you can declare a div under the div you can put your condition and then here you can define that ng include and under the include you can put the template name 
or else you can directly put the ng include this attribute and then using the ng include you can define that uh, src and then in, in, in the src you can define that uh, page name or else you can put any of this class name called any tag any of this tag name called p t or uh, any of this tag name and then in the class you can define that ng include colon and then you can put that uh, um, template name so various options so we'll do that first option so i'll put that ng include copy here and then so if this table equal to equal to incident i should call that which which are template i should call the incident template so let's go back to that and then incident template name is this one so i'll copy and then paste that so this is one way we can call our our template in this case what will be happen i'll do the second one for change request so i'll paste here and then uh, change underscore request and here i'll put that uh, change template name okay uh, here i'll put the change template name okay so what is the benefit for the template the benefit for the template is that you don't need to write all this code into your html you can move that code to particular uh, template based on the various condition and then now you can add as many as code you need for different different cases you don't need to uh, you know um, uh, you know uh, you don't need to put a lot of stuff inside the widget itself now let's save that once we save that and then if we go back to our uh, uh, dashboard and if we open that in the incident i'm right now getting the incident and if we uh, open the change i am getting the change here so you can see both our template are different but they are working differently but they are actually calling from the template so the template is defined here and then using the template it is working now here in the template i can modify anything so i don't need to touch our code call here i can say that change details testing something like that simply update that and then i should refresh that so that it will show that so i am not going to touch anything on that widget i am just updating the template because template is all about that how your look and feel will be there and this template is getting called from the widget so that widget that we have created so we will go back here and then we have three method to call the template so this is the first method um, depending on your different situation what situation you are you can define that okay so uh, this is the first situation this is the second situation this is the third situation so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in comment section thank you very much have a great day